Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Narayana Online Video Classes. Today, for seventh class, we are going to deal with laws of radicals. Okay, we will see what are they. The first one is if n root a and n root b are any two radicals of order n, then n root a into n root b can be written as n root of a b. See here, whenever you want to multiply two radicals, it can be done only when they are of same order. That's the reason why n root of a and n root of b then only we can write it as n root of a b. In exponential form, we can write the same as a to the power of 1 by n into b to the power of 1 by n is equal to a b to the power of 1 by n. Both are same. One is in radical form, other one is exponential form. This is the first rule. Next. Second one n root a by n root b is going to be n root of a by b. We can write it as a quotient if and only if both the orders are same. The same we can say as a to the power of 1 by n by b to the power of 1 by n is a by b to the power of 1 by n. In, the, in this representation also we can write the rule. Next. If we take the examples, cube root of 5 into cube root of 6, as we have the orders of the radicals same, we can write it as cube root of 5 into 6, that is cube root of 13. But if you take cube root of 4 into root over 5, we cannot do the operation, like we cannot multiply them, we cannot write it as a Single third, simple third. It is something like cube root of root of cube root of five. Have to leave it like that. We cannot go go further. Fine. Now, similarly, if you have cube root of twenty seven upon cube root of nine, that can be written as cube root of. Here, of course, cube root of twenty seven is a, is not a radical. But still, if it is given like that, we can write it as cube root of twenty seven upon nine. That is equal to a cube root of 3. Okay? Even then we can write it as the orders are same. It is not a radical, but still if it is given like that, we can apply that. Next. The next rule is if m comma n are natural numbers other than 1. A is any positive rational number then m root of n root of a is equal to m root of n root of a it can be equal to n root of m root of a both are going to be m n root of a. Very very useful and important property. m root of n root of a that is equal to m root of m root of a. Even though you have to change them, the result remains same. That is equal to m root of a. Okay? Let us take an example. Find the value of 4th root of q root of 5. If this is a question, we can write it as 4th root of q root. So, it is m and n, so product of these two is 12, so it is 12th root of 5. Whenever you have m root of n root of a, what can we do? We can multiply these two orders, m into n, that is m root of a. Finally, we can write it as m n root of a. Next. <coughs> if m is a natural number other than 1 a is any positive rational number then 
then if at all you have n root of a power m here m is an natural number and of course n is also n comma m r let us take n comma m r natural numbers other than one then a is any positive natural number then n root of a power m can be written as in fact this is we can write it exponential form as a to the power of m by n so that is going to be a to the power of 1 by m whole power m we can write like this because a power m by n can be equal to a power 1 by n whole power m this is nothing but n root a whole power m it is of an important property n root of a power m or n root a whole power m both are same so example if you take cube root of 5 square cube root of 5 square is equal to 5 to the power of c if you look at this n root of a power m is equal to n root a whole power m because n root a power m we are writing as a to the power of m by n then it can be written as a power m by n whole power m according to the laws of indices then that is n root a whole power m we are writing so here also we have n as 3 so it can be written as cube root of a is same 5 whole square and right so cube root of 5 square is cube root 5 whole square you can write Similarly, 4th root of 3, 3 power 5. If you have that, that can be written as 4th root of 3, 4th root of 4 of 5. Okay? This is another useful result. Here we have n and m are natural numbers other than 1. a is any positive relation number. Then nth root of a power m is a to the power of m by n. That is a power n whole power m. So you can write it as n root a whole power m used on this based on that you have seen these two examples. Now see if n and m are natural numbers other than one a is any positive natural number next m root of m root of a power b whole power m how can you write it? That can be written as m root of m root of a power p m that is again n root of a to the power of p m by m that is going to be n root of a power p so whenever you have n root of m root of a power p whole power m that can be simply written as n root of a power p this can be done fine this is another law of radical now we will see few problems based on these things. <clears throat> the first one is find the value of fourth root 3 into fourth root 2. It's a simple question. Solution is fourth root 3. 4 root 2 is equal because the orders are same, both have the same order 4, so you can write it as a single third, that is simple third, 4 root of 3 is a 3 to 2, we can write that is 4 root of 6. Next is find the order of root over cube root over 8. So, for that, solution is given like this, root over cube root of a, that can be written as, here, as it is root, nothing but it is 2 root, we don't, we, we don't, no need to mention that particularly, that is equal to 2 into 3, that is 6, 6 root of a, that is equal to 6 root of 8 as I am saying, so the here order is 6, is it? Sixth order. Seven. Now, we have find the value of fourth root of cube root of two power six. So, you should get. 4th root of cube root of 2 power 6 that can be written as 4th root of 
here, this is 2 to the power of 6 by 3. That is otherwise 4 root of 2 square. As it is 4 root of 2 square, that is 2 to the power of 2 by 4. That is going to be 2 power 1 by 2. That is going to be root 2. Okay? So, 4 root of 2 root of 2 over 6. First, let us simplify the inside part. That is 2 to the power of 6 upon 3. That is going to be 2 square. And we can write it as 2 to the power of 2 upon 4. That is 2 power 2 by 2. That results in root 2. Now, Find the value of square root of cube root of 512. Sometimes we even mention here it as 2 that is square root. Square root will mention 2. Even though he is not mentioning, doesn't make any difference. That is same as that of 2 root or root. Both are same. Now, we have a solution root over root root of 512 is equal to it is root over cube root of 512 we have to convert it as a product of prime factors then we have 2 times 256 then 2 times 128 that is 2 times 64 2 times 32 that is 2 times 16 2 times 8 2 times 4 2 times 2 if you look at that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it is 2 to the power of 9. As it is 2 to the power of 9, we have root over 2 to the power of 9 by 3. As it is 2 to the power of 9 by 3 is 2 cube. That is root over 2 cube. That is nothing but 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So it is root means we can write it as root over 2 square into 2. That is going to be 2. Okay, 2 to the power of 3 by 10, 3 I am writing as 2 root over 2 square into 2, 2 square means 2 comes out, so the answer is 2 root 2, fine. So the answer for root over q thread of 512 is 2 root 2. Now, uh, if you look at what is the value of fifth root of 13 divided by fifth root of 6. What is the value of fifth root of 30 and divided by fifth root of 6? As usual, both the orders are same. So, we can write it as a fifth root of 30 divided by 6. That is, fifth root of 30 by 6 is nothing but 5. So, the answer is fifth root of 5. Now, what is the value of square root of cube root of 5? The same thing here also, as the square root, we can write it as 2 into 3, that is 2 into 3, that is otherwise 6 root of, the answer is 6 root of 5. Now, what is the value of 5th root of, 7th root of, 210, 2010, whole power 7, for this again, whole power 5. It looks to be very huge problem, very big problem, a very lengthy calculations and all. It's not like that simply. If you apply the laws of radicals, it is becoming very simple. The problem becomes very simple. Now, how we write it? That is going to be 7th root of 2010 whole power 7 pi. So, I can simplify like this. 5th root of 2010 whole power, see, 7 pi is 35. See, it has to be 7th root and divided by 7. That is going to be 5th root of, simply it is 2010 whole power 7 cancels here 5 times 5. As it is 5th root of 2000 whole power 5, it is going to be 2010 power 5 upon 5, that is 1. So the answer is 2010. So, even though the problem looks to be very complex, here we need not expand it to something. Simply we can apply the laws of radicals, thereby we can find out the answer as 2010. Okay, students? Thank you.